Hello everyone and welcome to our guide on how to install the Aether mod on Minecraft. Plenty of survival games have a lot of fun things to do in vanilla, and Minecraft is no different. However, Minecraft stands out above the rest, in my opinion, as one of the best moddable games in all of survival craft anywhere. One of these very classic mods is the Aether. How to install the Aether mod. The first thing that we need to do is ensure that Forge is installed on the version of the game that we want to have the mod for. In this case, the latest version is Minecraft 1.20.1, .1, so run the installer once you have it downloaded from the official Forge website. Then, the installer will pull up, you'll run it on the install client side, and you're gonna hit the OK button in the pop-up. After a little bit, it'll load up, but what you need to do in the meantime is get Minecraft loaded up and look for the new Forge installation under the game version that you just downloaded. Hit play as this will add in any folders that you may not have had before, and we're going to actually quit the game as soon as we launch it. Now head to the CurseForge page for the Aether, and it should look something like this. Of course, you can read the description if you want, check out any links that might be in the description, or just read all about what the mod is about, but what you want to do is head to the Files tab next to description. There's a section called the Filtered By area, and you don't have to use this, but I recommend it if you're looking for a specific version, like 1.20.1. .1. Now, I'm just going to grab the latest version and not hit install, but rather download in this case. The download will begin, and shortly thereafter, you want to load back up Minecraft one more time, and in the installations tab, go to the Forge 1.20.1, .1, again in this case, and hit the folder button next to play. This will pull up a folder in which you can find the mods folder underneath your Minecraft area, and then you're going to click and drag the new mod that you downloaded into that folder. If you've done this correctly, under the mods tab, you'll see that you have the Aether mod installed onto your Forge game. To install this on your server, however, what you first want to do is, of course, open up your Nitrato panel and stop the server with the red stop button. Double down on the stop button when the pop-up appears, and what you're going to do is wait for it to stop, head to the left-hand side where you see File Browser under Tools, and select that. Then you're going to go through Minecraft Other Packs, then you're going to go through Mods. It's very similar to how it works on the client side. You're going to upload the file, and upload, once again, the file of the Aether into this area. Now, all you need to do is hit the Start Server button in order to restart the server with the mod added on, and then you'll be good to go once the server started. Conclusion Now that you know how to install the Aether mod, it's all up to you on how you want to start playing it. You can play it in Creative to check out how the actual mod works at first, or you could go straight into Survival. If you happen to like this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell. Until next time. Huh. Oh, <gasps>